Hey guys, hello from Tokyo. It's such a nice day today, so I figured I'd take my eating outside. Soup dumplings. That actually looks pretty good. I'm on my way to a, a street market called Ameyoko, and this is a recommendation from my buddy John from Only in Japan. In this market, if you break the name down, Ame also stands for America, and that's because um, right after the World War II, a lot of American goods were sold here. So this used to be the site of a black market. Also, Ameyoko is short for Ameya Yokocho, which means candy alley, because apparently candy was, was also sold here. Today this market is home to over 180 stores selling everything from bags to clothing to groceries. Of course, of course there's food here and that's why I'm here. And I'm here on the weekend which might not be the best place to be here because it is crowded. But I'm starving so I'm just going to walk around and see what there's to eat. It's really a mix of different types of foods here. You got kebabs, Chinese food. Actually that Chinese food looks really really good here. There's actually a ton of Chinese food places and they all look really, really good. That's the problem. Okay, I gotta walk around and see what else to eat. This is the scouting part of the food adventure. This is really interesting. The mushrooms, there's, they sell a lot of these mushrooms here and the price goes up from 3,000 yen all the way to 30,000 yen on the top. Basically, that's a $300 mushroom. These are called Matsutake mushrooms. They're basically Japan's truffle and it's, they'll sell for $1,000 a pound. I've never had one, I'm sure it's good. I just wish I had a kitchen, I cook some myself. Start off with some takoyaki. Haven't had takoyaki yet since I came to Japan. We gotta fix that. This place, Minatoya, huge line for their takoyaki. And this might look a lot different than the ones you've had in Japan or anywhere else because these don't really have anything on them. No sauce, no bonito flakes, and that's because they have all the sauces and condiments here and you add it yourself. Mmm. 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 Oh, that was both. Got oh, pleasure and pain right there. Don't make the same mistake I did. Probably holding my mouth. Not the smartest thing to do. A little crispy on the outside, nice and gooey. Love the octopus. This is ultimate Japanese comfort food right here. Mm. I've never added my own condiments before, so I might have messed up a little bit, but I like the fact you can add as much bonito flakes as you want. That's a huge plus. This hot dog place right next door, and they sell some crazy looking hot dogs. Oh no, I mean, I, I kind of feel like I want that thing right there. Here it is. This is my corn dog with the potatoes all stuck on the outside like a body armor. And what am I supposed to? Coconut powder, sugar, soybean, coconut. Both, oh, you think? This one better? Yeah. Okay, so they recommended the coconut powder sugar. I'm just gonna add some ketchup. And maybe some honey mustard. So here it is. My freaking dog with, with potatoes. I had one of these in Korea. Tasted pretty good. Number one with just pure cheese. Whoa, that was insane. That's actually really delicious. I had some mozzarella cheese in there. Dough is nice and slightly sweet. Potatoes, are, they're, they're basically french fries. If you're gonna get this, I definitely recommend the ketchup. I really do like the sugary element as well. It's basically a really substantial potato-y mozzarella stick. I know for a fact that my lifespan has decreased after eating this. I got no regrets. This, I mean, it looks crazy. But you should definitely get one when you come here. Oh, I love tea shops. Oh, yum. I love good matcha green tea. Perfect after some food. A lot of fruits here, and look at this grape. 3,000, yeah, yeah, hi, hi, hi. I'm getting myself some grape. I think I gotta try some of this Chinese food. And all the Chinese stalls here, they essentially sell the same thing. It's really weird. They sell Liangpi, which is a Xi'an thing. Then they sell, um, then they sell Shengjian Bao or uh, pan fried dumplings, and that's a Shanghai thing. So all sorts of different Chinese food items, but each stall pretty much sells the same stuff. So I got some fried buns, and I got some lamb skewers, and some pig's feet. Why not? Little pan fried buns, sesame on the outside. Let's see here. This is very important. Okay. It's nice, nice and crispy on the bottom. That's really, really important. Oh, that's funny. So the top of the bun, you see the spiral? The top of the bun is the part that's fried here. 
I never seen that. So this is the bottom of the bun. And then got some pig's feet. This is a lot of collagen. It's great for your skin. Ladies love them. And guys, if you want a fair complexion, you'll eat them too. Plus they're yummy. That was a lot juicier than I thought. This is good. This is a juicy little, oh wow. See all that soup that's on the inside? The outside, nice and crispy. Dough is light, it's chewy. It's not too heavy, pretty light. And it soaked up the nice fat from the pork, so that's actually really tasty and melty. Really shocked about this. I kid you, I mean, I did not expect this to be good. I didn't. This is excellent. Mm. These are must-get buns if you ever come to this market. Got some skewers because I can't say no to skewers. Not as mind-blowing as the little buns, but a few things are in life. Still good though. Finally got some chive pockets with eggs. This is a classic dish, one of my all-time favorites. Oh, this is good too. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, crispy, really crispy on the outside. Nice and eggy, extremely fresh chives. I like the spice. This fruit stand was right next door. Couldn't forget how good the melon tastes last time. Obviously, this is not a $150 melon, but still. Oh. Oh, yeah. Japan has the juiciest, sweetest melons. Oh. Just right here. This is what you should get. I feel like this market is really, really good for seafood. In terms of places to eat, um, there are little restaurants around here, but just counting the, the actual food stalls in this market, there's not a lot. So I'm gonna wander around some more, but let's keep looking. Oh, this place, see that line? That's all for matcha ice cream. I better get to it. As soon as I walk in the door, the green tea smell just pummels me. It smells so good. Wow. This is the matcha-ist matcha ice cream. I've ever had. This is such concentrated matcha flavor, and it's yummy. Mm. I've had a lot of matcha ice cream in my day. This is just so incredibly fragrant. I know they didn't make this here probably, but this cone is really nice too. I love this very matcha. I had to, I'm sorry. And by the way, um, the shop is over there. Even from here, I can smell the matcha. This place serves some meats, croquettes, some cutlets. I hear meat, I see meat. Ooh, let's go get some meat. So he's saying this is the number one. This is the most popular beef and pork. Number two, number two. This? Hi, 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 hi. I got two of these uh, croquettes. One is potato, one is beef and pork. Um, I think this is, a, this is a potato one. That is so soft. Not at all what I expected. I thought it was like a, I thought it would taste like a potato ganache or maybe like a fried potato pancake sort of thing. The outside is fried perfect. It's such a great crunch. And then the inside is almost like mashed potato on the inside. Gooey, creamy, flavored extremely well. I'm gonna add a little sauce to it. Oh, no. Little, um, this is like a moisture mixture sauce. This is, so good. this is what I'm waiting for. This is their number one bestseller. Fried croquette with beef and pork inside. Shut the front gate. Oh my gosh. This is a work of art right here. It's like a meat pie. Again, the outside is just tremendous. I mean, it's crispy, it's fried, but it doesn't feel too oily and really juicy too. Mmm. The inside, the meat is almost as soft as potatoes. Love the onions, love the fat from the pork. Actually, check this out. I'm gonna combine the meat one and the potato one. Meat and potatoes, oh, that's a complete meal right here. Oh, that's good. This whole area, I mean, just walking around, it's not just a straight walkway of the market, just tons of restaurants, izakayas, stores. Everything I've eaten so far today has been amazing. I see skewers. There are a ton of these izakaya places. I'm gonna go into one and, and round up some skewers. I'm in this yakitori place. I have no idea what it's called, but it is packed. I'm waiting right now, and I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a long wait line right now. I'll get there though. Finally got in after about an hour. 
now the problem is the entire menu is in Japanese. I think I'm at a good place. This is like very, very local place. They, they don't really have English menu. They have to dig up this English menu for me. It's not readily available. Yeah, each skewer is about a dollar, some a little more expensive. I think this is, this is the assorted pork skewers. Grilled peppers, leeks. This is some other fatty pork that I order. I don't even know what this is, but I'm here calling my name right now. This thing is just covered in garlic or ginger. I'll let you guys know. Oh. Mmm. Liver. Oh, this is awesome. There you go. Love, love liver. Oh, a little charred on the outside too. Look at that. That's the good kind of crust. Pig stomach. Actually, I think this is the esophagus or something. It's super crunchy. Every one of these skewers so far, such an awesome charcoal smoke flavor to them. Wow, so smoky. Everything is beyond amazingly delicious. This is so, so good. There's a reason this restaurant is packed. I, I came in at five o'clock in the afternoon. I waited for an hour in line. Oh, oh, the leeks are so juicy. You can taste the flames in every single bite. Oh, wow. This is some kind of steak just covered in, I think this is ginger actually. Oh my God. Oh, that's the goodest thing. Oishi. Oh my God. Oh, thank you. And I was wrong, this is not ginger, it's, it's radish. So there's juice from the meat and juice from the radish. Oh, do not waste that. That, that needs to never ever be wasted. This is the greatest yakitori skewer. Mm. Oh, this is amazing too. This is pork, a lot of fatty pork. This has got such a huge umami flavor. Some kind of soy sauce glaze on top of this. This thing is juicy. All right, I've been eating meat all day. I gotta have some veggies. Oh, the pepper becomes sweet and smoky. I think this place is good just because I don't see any tourists and I had to wait in line for about an hour at five o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, my last one, the king of all yakitori skewers. This is just nothing, nothing even comes close to this. Everything is so delicious already, but this is still the king. Oh, that was so satisfying. All right. Oh, I'm still sad to leave here, but one of the most satisfying meals I've had here. I, I had to come back for another matcha cone. My favorite matcha ice cream. This, this is a great way to wrap up this fun food day. Oh, it's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Honestly, not a single bad food item today, which is really rare, especially when I'm just like walking around eating at places I've never been to before. The food gods definitely smiled down upon me today, for sure. I think. This might be it. I think I just have to go back and food coma or go to the gym or something, but I'm gonna walk around. If there's more stuff I find to eat, I'll let you guys know. If not, I'll put all the places I went to in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Until we eat again, I'll see you later. So good. Oh, one more thing. Totally forgot about the grapes. These are massive. I mean, they, they look like huge marbles. $30 for these. Okay, these are amazing. Mm. Wow. That is so sweet. So sweet, so juicy. No seeds at all. I'm not even much of a fruit person, but this. Even I know that's a good grape. Just look at the size of this thing. Mm. This is actually so worth it. Oh, really, really amazing. The fruits they have in this country, I, I, I don't know how they grow them. Maybe sprinkle with a little bit of Japanese fairy dust. I, I don't know how they do it, but all the fruits in this country is so much better than any other fruits anywhere else. I barely eat much fruit back in the U.S. and I think if I lived here, I'd be eating fruits every single day. All right, I gotta go to bed. Really awesome food day. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye.